Hi everybody, I'm going to try to make this quick. So this is part three of, oh, this thing, the monster thing. Let me get up real quick. Monster bookshelf that husband and I found on the side of the road. So, let's see, let me pan out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's where I sit. Whoops. Okay, that's where I sit. And then there's the bookshelf, and it has wheels, so look, I can move it. If, actually, I can move it a lot. I can move it anywhere. I could even take it outside. So then I'll have a seat, right? And then I'll be right here creating. And then there's all my stuff, so I'm just sitting right here. And all I have to do is move my chair and pull out whatever I want. So I have my inks, uh, some random bottles in there, my pins, some adhesives there, and all deco art paints there, and some glue right there, and then down here I have this texture, little, all these little textures in there. And then different papers in here. And then I have my mandrel. And then I have my washi tape down there. My scanner. I know it shouldn't be sideways, but it is right now because I don't have room. Still haven't messed with this part yet. I'm going to have a basket full of random papers. And all of this is reachable. That's the best part. It might be messy to some, but it's reachable to me. And I know exactly where everything's at. I even have my dog's... Um, veterinary formula there for skin relief or stinky butt. I mainly use it for their stinky butt. Works really good. It's by Three Green Dogs. It's really good stuff. Pretty uh, inexpensive. I think it's under five bucks. Then I have my papers right there. And I have a basket up there with all my stuff. One cereal box. And uh, in front of my desk, way over there, finally got my little camera so that I can Skype. Um, over there is more stuff. You guys seen that wall over there. And this is where I work. And there's some actually clean water in there. It may not look clean, but it's clean water in there. My little fan for the summer. And then that box there is full of uh, findings and jewelry. Finally was able to get it out of storage. Basically my garage. And then my Lazy Susan there, and then all this Happy Mail that I'm getting ready to paint on. Here's one, there are two, three, four, five, six pieces. I know there's more people I need to send stuff to, but this is going to go out throughout the year, little by little. My big water bottle. Another Lazy Susan full of brushes. And then this here, and then I did the... Callie Black incense thing that she showed us how to do. She has a video on that. And there's my closet. And I'm just turning my chair and I'm still sitting. And there's some more random stuff. And then there's that. And then this is where I have my tools. It's getting cleaned up. Pretty much. This one was purchased about six years ago and this one was found on the side of the road. All of my stamps in there, more stamps in there. Uh, that one's getting cleaned out. I found this little cool trash and I found this cool trash in the trash. <laughs> Somebody's trash, they threw it out. I think it's really vintage and cool. Just random things, more random things. And my UD pot in there. And then the doggy bed right there. What else? Oh, and where I'm still sitting, I have random things here. Like all these are paper cuttings, jelly prints, more jelly prints, and random Happy Mail and jelly prints. Yeah, electronics and some marbles and my molds more paper 
And I have my uh, napkins and wipeables and other junk in there. But see, all this may be random and messy to you guys, but it works out for me. All my journals. And then there's more there. And then you can barely see down there, but I have another shelving unit down underneath. And that's my workspace, but this is wonderful right here. I can pull it towards me. I'm moving it as we speak. And I have my all my stencils in this basket and in a binder somewhat loose binder. Whoops, can't be showing hubby stuff, he said. Then I have stuff that I'm actually working on here. Uh, just random things that I'm working on here. Just to always have it there and not have to search for it. Then I just remove this, look through it if I want. But this contraption here is cool. This moves. I can bring it towards me. But first I would have to move this to the side. Try not to show my husband's stuff. We have um, some clients that don't want their stuff shown. This contraption here is for a monitor, I think, or a keyboard. It's super cool, and I have it attached right here. I can bring it towards me and have my extra paints and some of these clips. And another cool thing is it extends. Yeah. So if you guys ever see one of these in your yard sale or Goodwill or discount store or whatever, they're about a hundred and something bucks. Oh, we got it for free and it extends and it's super cool and I just have a tin up on top and it moves look it's like a lazy Susan also I could spin it I could take this off and it's just basically a flat thing but for now I have that there and I have some S incense sticks that I use so I just move this I'm trying not to show my husband's stuff move that to the side and there's one child. She ran. It ran! Put that back here. And then re put this here. I'm sorry I'm not showing you full everything because then I end up showing all the stuff on the other side that I'm not supposed to. So, yeah. So, when I say I'm reaching, this is where I'm reaching. And this is where I'm sitting. I've got paint all over my floor. But I love seeing paint on my floor. And yeah, and this is where I'm going to connect and upload. Try not to take long on the video so I can upload fast. And I've got my C's candy waiting for me. I will eat it when everybody's asleep and they don't stare at me eating. Oh, and also um, my heat gun. I seen Cat put her heat gun, Cat Hand here on YouTube, put her heat gun in a vase for safety, just in case it turns on. I found this tin can that I had forever and I put my heat gun in there. Oh, I need my lotion. I don't want no wrinkles under my eyes. Okay. That's it, guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, here's a project I'm going to be working on. It's I used to do a lot of flea markets and boutiques and I had made this lamp cover out of wire. And it's basically, let's see, it's basically a tulip flower that I did. It's falling apart now, you see? So I'm going to redo it. And basically I just formed a bunch of wires into leaves, attached them together, and you put it over a lamp, you know, and you hang it like this basically the way it is like that and you can move these around it's very very dusty there's a wire up here let me bring it down but it's something I want to work on eventually and let's see working with one magic hand Alright, here it is. So I formed four 
wire wires into leaves. I attach them around like that. We have these wires that go around whatever lamp you want to put it in and it just hangs like that. So it's kind of tattered up right now because it's been through a lot. It's been through a lot of shows, a lot of art and craft shows. So I'm going to redo it but I am going to leave the base but I want to redo it. Yep, and there's the inside. It's pretty cool when you turn on the light and it's just hanging there like that. That'll be my next project. I've had this sucker for about 10 years. Yeah, and it's still holding up and it's ready for its next redo. Okay, so that's it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.